characters? What, what keeps you awake at night? Don't answer that. Just give me the biggest problem. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there, there, there's a couple of things. The biggest problem really is that people can't imagine, cannot imagine that we can actually move the needle on poverty. And if you can't imagine a world without persistent poverty, then much of what we're talking about is oxymoronic, that we're going to have poor kids performing like rich kids. You know, that's the oxym oxymoron that trouble, troubles us. So if people can't imagine it, then they really can't believe it. And if they can't believe it, they can't own it. And if they can't own it, they can't share the accountability for making it happen. And so we've got to create enough proof points, not just individual schools here and there, but we've got to create enough proof points at scale that people are willing to suspend disbelief. Imagine that we can make change at scale, that we can move the, the needle on a population measure, and that if we could do that some place or some places, then the argument becomes, why can't we do it here? Mm -hmm. And the question is, what will it take to do it here? And then we have the basis, the platform, for shared ownership and shared accountability. And what STRIVE does and what the Roadmap Project does is it creates a space within communities. I see it happening as I go to this community. It creates a space where people essentially are given themselves permission to believe. And in, given, and in given themselves permission to believe, they then could have the conversation about where do we want to go? What do we want to own? And for what are we willing to be held jointly accountable?